A bee in a big universe. Brian is a bee in a very busy one too. Before he goes to school, he collects the nectar from flowers to make sweet honey. He also takes care of his brother, Brady, when his mom is doing chores. One day after school, Brian was bored. He dreamed about flying around the meadow. He saw his friend Sam the snail and thought aloud, Sam, I bet I am the fastest bee in the meadow. I bet I am the bee who can fly the farthest, maybe even past the meadow, he said. Sam replied sourly, I bet you can't fly to the end of the universe. The universe is bigger than the meadow by far. Brian was confused. The meadow with all its bugs and flowers was always the biggest place to him. He couldn't even imagine the universe. The universe to him was always the meadow where he pollinated the flowers. Brian, don't let him bug you, yelled Beatrice the butterfly. But Brian became angry and flew back home to his hive, muttering under his breath, his ideas are too weird to be true. When he got home, he found his mom there waiting for him. She asked him, how was school? And where is your homework? Brian was bursting to know what Sam had meant about the universe. What is the universe, mom? He asked her. Sam said, I can't fly farther than the meadow. He dared me and said I couldn't fly to the end of the universe. Brian frowned. Look, Brian, the universe is like the meadow below, said his mother. The flowers are like the stars, moon, suns, and planets in the universe. Imagine the stars are the yellow daisies. The planets are like the purple and pink flowers. The large pink black-eyed Susan gathered in the middle of the meadow is like our sun in the sky. And see the green grass where all the flowers grow? That is called our earth, where we live. We can see the stars and planets in the universe in the night sky, his mother continued. But bees don't usually go out at night, said Brian. We fly by the sun in daylight. We can just imagine the universe for now, said his mother. Brian and his mom flew down to the soft grass in the meadow. See the tree, Brian? Imagine the tree in the four different seasons throughout the year. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. We have seasons because our planet Earth moves around the sun. When it's summer, our planet Earth is moving and tilting towards the sun, making it warmer. In winter, our planet is moving and tilting farther away from the sun, making it cooler. Brian didn't like winter because he had to stay indoors in the hive. It was too cold outside. To stay warm, he liked to drink the warm bee jelly juice stored in the hive. His mom made it from the nectar she gathered from the flowers in the meadow. Brian thought for a minute and then asked, How big is the universe? The universe is very big. No one knows where it ends, said his mother because there are so many stars and planets in it. Brian became concerned. I always thought the meadow was the biggest place, he said. Don't worry, Brian. It's just a cool thing to think about. The universe is higher than the sun and moon, and yet they are a part of it. It stretches very far away. It is hard to know everything about the universe. Brian felt discouraged again. Maybe Sam was right, he thought. Maybe he couldn't fly to the end of the universe. He flew around the meadow to see how big it was. He tried to fly as far as he could to the end of the universe. But when he flew as close as he could to the sun, his wings became too tired. There is only one sun in the daytime. Just imagine the number of stars at night. I surely couldn't fly past them, he thought. Brian became discouraged again. He slowly drifted down to land on his favorite flower, a unique pink black-eyed Susan. Brian landed on his flower and looked up at the sun in wonder. Soon his friends came by. First came Sam the snail, and not too far behind came Beatrice the butterfly. Sam, I couldn't fly to the end of the universe, exclaimed Brian. I couldn't even fly close to the sun. I never knew it before, but the universe is bigger than the meadow and higher than the sun. It is huge. Sam replied, I know it's big, but you're still the fastest bee around. I'm so sorry I was mean to you. I think you're the fastest bee in the universe, Beatrice exclaimed. I feel so small and unimportant, said Brian. You are our best friend, so you are important, said Beatrice. Brian smiled. Look, said Brian, the moon is coming up and the sun looks like it's going down. The moon is beginning to shine too. Sure, Brian, said Sam. Besides going around the sun, our earth slowly spins around. As earth turns, it becomes night on the side that's facing away from the sun. This is why we have a day and a night. Even after the sun sets, its light still bounces off the moon. That's what makes the moon shine. Isn't that amazing? Wow, that's why it's called moonlight. Sam, you know so much. I'm glad you're my friend. 
Me too, added Beatrice. Soon it grew darker, the sun was setting, and the stars began to appear. Brian said goodbye to his friends and a few good laughs. He thanked both the sun and the moon for creating all the seasons, even winter, when all the bees would be together in the hive, hugging, laughing, and drinking warm bee jelly juice. Oh no, it's getting late. As Brian decided to fly home, he looked up and saw more stars in the sky than he could count, and they were bright, beautiful, and white. Then he saw some colorful stars too, which he thought were different planets. Wow, how wonderful. He wasn't concerned anymore. It's so beautiful. I guess I am a small bee in a big universe. He found his mother bee near their home hive, waiting for him on a moonflower, a flower that only opens up at night. Mom, you were right, exclaimed Brian. There are so many stars in the night sky. I can't count them all. Yes, this is true, explained his mother. There are many stars in the night sky. In fact, there are billions of them. There are so many stars that not all of them can be seen in our night sky from Earth. Wow, that's a lot of stars. They look so beautiful. Are they all like our sun? Brian asked. Yes, many of them are. Stars give off light and heat, and that's why we can see them up in the night sky, said his mother. Our sun is a hot, bright yellow star. What are planets, Mom? Planets are big, round objects like our Earth. The planets move around the sun in a big circular path called an orbit. Our Earth is the third planet from the sun, his mom explained. There are many suns, moons, and planets in our big universe. In fact, there are nine planets orbiting our sun, said his mother. Do the other planets have names too? Of course, they are called Mercury, Venus, our Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, a dwarf planet. Along with our sun, these planets make up what is called our solar system. Our solar system is in outer space and is only one part of the big universe. Brian imagined what the solar system might look like. Wow, he said. It's so cool to learn about the universe and outer space. It was getting darker, so Brian and his mom flew back to their home hive. That night after Brian went to bed, he imagined flying out into the universe to see all the stars and planets. He felt bad that he couldn't fly past the sun in real life, but today at least he had learned something about the stars, the sun, the moon, and all the planets in the universe. Still, he was thoughtful. I feel so small in this big universe, Mom, Brian said. Why am I important? Because there is only one you, replied his mom. You'll grow up and become something great in this world. I want to be a scientist bee, studying the stars, the moons, and the planets, said Brian. Well, that's what makes you special, your talents and your dreams, said his mom, smiling. Thanks, Mom. I guess I'm a bee in a big universe. I'm special and I'm one of a kind. The end. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to check out the links in the description box. I'll see you in the next story time.